A renewed effort tonight that could curtail our Second Amendment rights to uh, keep and bear arms if uh, President Obama has his way. He wants the Senate to ratify a little-known treaty that would create a national registry for guns. Under that treaty, other nations would be able to identify gun owners in the United States. Bill Tucker has our report. President Obama went to Mexico and brought back a 12-year-old treaty. I'm urging the Senate in the United States to ratify an inter-American treaty known as SIFTA to curb small arms trafficking that is a source of so many of the weapons used in this drug war. The treaty signed by President Clinton in 1997 was never ratified by the Senate. It calls for the institution of a regime of gun control never before seen in the United States, creating a gun registration system that would be open to international sharing. Offenders would be prosecuted under treaty law and they would be eligible for extradition. Proponents like Senator Dick Luger are urging passage, saying, quote, we should consider ratifying during this Congress the Inter-American Convention Against Illicit Man manufacturing of and trafficking in firearms, ammunition, explosives and related materials. Gun rights activists are incensed. It reflects a deep distrust that the government of the United States has had toward the people that somehow we need to be regulated because of other people's inability to have a peaceful and orderly society. Which cuts to the deep distrust that some gun owners have for government in general and specifically for this administration. President Obama, as a senator, consistently supported gun control legislation. His attorney general, Eric Holder, is also in favor of gun control. But one strong supporter of the Second Amendment in the Senate is determined to see the president does not get his wish. The president said it is a very high priority for him to get this treaty that takes away our Second Amendment rights ratified by the Senate. It is a very high priority for me to make sure that this treaty never gets ratified by the United States Senate. And we will find the votes to defeat it. Gun control is an issue that the Democratic congressional leadership has not been eager to embrace just yet, but that is what has gun rights groups concerned about this treaty. It isn't being presented as gun control. Instead, it's being presented as an international treaty that has been ratified by 29 other countries, so therefore it must be right that we ratify it as well. Well, I don't know who, what do you mean it must be right? Because 29 other countries right. don't have right. a Second Say, Amendment or a Constitution. Correct, and that seems to be President Obama's well, logic. You know, we're, this we're, is an international uh, We're treat. fools if we don't pay attention to what is being done and before our uh, very eyes, and that's what is uh, taking place. And no one can blame President Obama. We have only ourselves right. to blame because he's made it very clear, as has his uh, attorney general, the chief law enforcement officer in the country. They just want to do a few things uh, with gun laws, like take them away uh, in large measure. Bill Tucker, thank you very much.